Hi, everybody. This is Margaret from Margaret Lewin Quilting, or Miss Marker's Quilts. This is a quick, short video on my pressing board. I've been asked to give you guys the dimensions of it and tell you how I made it and show it to you. So here it is. So here's my big board ironing board. You can see that I've got it sitting on those um, four stack shelves. I'll turn the camera so you can see. It's just um, plastic bins that I got from, mm, I would expect probably either Walmart or Target. It's sitting on two, so it's got space in between for my bolts of fabric that I've currently got um, upstairs. Those are all bolts of projects that I've been working on recently, so that's why they're right there in front of me. And to the left of it, you can see I've got a bunch of bins. Um, those are all my scrap bins. The first one there is stuff that I need to cut. Next ones are my, my strips. And then on the other side, those are all my squares. Um, what's sitting there is actually a quilt with a binding all ready to go that I've got to get bound. And you can see to the left, there's more tubs of projects. Um, my pressing board itself is, um, I think I said, but if I didn't, it's 22 by 60. I've been really happy with it for the most part, but I will confess that the next time I make one, I'm probably going to make it just a little bit deeper. I'll probably go to 26 inches and I will probably make it just a little bit longer. Um, what happens when I'm doing an extra wide piece of backing is I've got to roll the or put the fabric across it three times in order to get the entire width of it. So I think I'll make it just just a little bit longer and obviously a little bit deeper. I just wish it was a little bit more. Right now, this just sits on my on these bins it's not attached to it at all so I actually can pick it up and move it sometimes I'll take it into the kitchen and put it on the island to um, do some pressing but that's my board how we made it was it's a half inch piece of plywood and then on top of the plywood and I wrap it around the ends on top of the plywood is um, some 100% cotton batting. You don't want to use polyester and by any means you just don't want to. You want to use cotton batting. And this material is actually pillow ticking that I picked up um, really cheap. I think it was like two dollars a yard something like that. It was real real dirt cheap. So you just take your half inch piece of plywood you wrap around your bat, your batting around the board, and then the fabric, and then I just use a staple gun to attach it. And one of the reasons why I used pillow ticking, I'll show you, is because you can see right here it's a little bit discolored. Well, that's from my um, my sizing that I use and my starch. Um, I like Mary Ellen's Best Press and I like magic sizing. Um, this doesn't leave any flakes. Mary Ellen's doesn't either, but this one doesn't either. So I like, those are the two spray starch alternatives that I use. And what happens after a while, um, it, it gets, this is hard. What happens after a while is because it gets sprayed on your surface, there's always overspray. There's nothing you can do about it. This gets hard and brittle and discolored. So probably oh, once every year or every year and a half, I have to change it. You can see this side's really nice still. It's just right here because I'm always pressing right here. So it is getting time to change it. I haven't done it yet, but it is getting time to change it. So um, that's my pressing board. And you can see my bins. The first one's got pressing tools. The next one is just paper. 
Next one is special paper. That's like my Christmas stuff. Underneath that's photo paper. Over here are all my different interfacings and my um, fusible to fuse two pieces of batting together. Underneath that's ironing tools and my ironing cleaning, then photos of my family and my actual family genealogy. So in there's my iron. And in the back here, I always leave a couple of things. There's a wipe to clean my lenses and stuff. I'm not certain why there's needle nose pliers in here. And I just pit, recently picked up one of these um, perfect handbag notions. It's a, it's a magnet, and I want to give it a try. Some lavender scented... Um, ground walnut shells because I was recently using them, a pressing stick that I was given by someone, and of course my lid to my starch or my sizing. So that just sits right here in a little bin. When I have to do a big piece, I just throw these things in here and then I can easily move it and put it back where it belongs. So this is my pressing board. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I thank you so much for watching.